Hi everybody, welcome to Fast Time Brew. I've wound up with leftovers again, so it's time to make my fifth, apparently, leftovers pale. So here we go, this is just pretty standard really. Got my 35 litres of water, getting that up to temperature. Um, I'll mash it at, oh, there's my grains. So these are, so I get the water up in a little bit over 70 degrees to allow for a little bit of temperature drop while the grains go in. So this is my standard um, pale base of 85% Maris Otter, 10% Munich, and this time I've got 5% Medium Crystal. Uh, I went down from the Munich, last time I used 15%, but it didn't seem to do anything, so back to 10. Now I'm going to let that sit in there and mash for an hour. There it goes. Okay, time to get the stuff out of the thing. So the bag comes up, and the little noose goes around the guy, and this bag's the slippery one, so... That'll, that'll go in there nicely. Uh, and the heat goes on. Yep, now, uh, something a little bit different. I'm actually going to sparge it this time. So I'm going to end up with an extra litre of water. But I'm um, hoping to get a little bit better efficiency by doing this. And as it turns out, I actually did. I, got a, uh, I haven't bottled it yet, so I don't know if I get an extra bottle in the end. But um, yeah, the efficiency was slightly better. So... Here I am going through all my leftover hops, and what have we got here? I've got some uh, Nelson. I've set it on Nelson. How much? Whoops, I spilled a little bit everywhere. Pour all the Nelson in, and then figure out how many magnums I'll need in order to get the bitterness to around 35, maybe a little bit higher. So that's what I'm aiming for today. So that's my magnum, and I'm adjusting, and that goes in as it boils there, and that's going to boil for an hour. And there it goes. Okay, so I've got some time to kill. This, I'm going to trim the old rose vine bush thing here with these not great for the job gloves. I keep getting stuck by thorns, but what can you do? You can get better gloves, that's what. Anyway, 15 minutes to go now. That's the, um, what do you call that? Whirlflock going in. Now flame out, and Max is, I hope, yep, Max is being a good dog. And oh, it looks like I'm drinking something there. I don't know what exactly, but anyway, flame out. Now, in another five minutes' time, going to put in some Whirlpool hops. Um, so that that is the Nelson going in there, five minutes out. And that's going to add about 10 IBUs, and I'm getting about 25 from the Magnum. A little bit more than that from each. And so it's going to be about 36, 37. There we go. Right. Okay. So getting my sample. The first one tells lies, so I get my second sample. And, yeah, this is when I found out that I did get a little bit better efficiency, so that was a good thing. Now we're draining into the cube, all very standard, you've seen this before. The flies buzz around and Max chases them a bit while the cube fills up. Don't know if you see the little block of wood that I keep under, that's just to get the, um, the, the final bit closer to the hole, I guess, so that there's less air, as little air as possible in there, and that means it's a nice safe place for that to stay while... Uh, it cools down. Okay, so here we are with my 25 to 27 liters of stuff. That is some USO5 yeast that will go in in a couple of days. And here I got uh, Mosaic and I think Chinook. Maybe it was Amarillo. I don't know what that says. Simcoe maybe. I don't know. But I'm going to go about 4 or 5 grams per liter of whatever I can get rid of. And uh, there we go. We're all done. There's the thumbs. That means video's over. So thanks for watching the video. Um, I know this will turn out good, so yeah, we're all good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, etc., etc. Bye.